Hey guys, I'm Lydia. If you don't know, if you do know, welcome back to the channel. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but that was like, ooh, you know, whatever. So guys, today I was gonna do like a holiday prep video. I was thinking about it because I have so many desserts and pies that I have to make before Thanksgiving and Friendsgiving that I have coming. And I realized I can't do that because my house isn't even set up for it. So since I moved in, we kind of put things where it needs to be, but not where it needs to be, if that makes sense. Kitchen stuff's in the kitchen, dining room stuff's in the dining room. But right now what I'm gonna do, cause you see the lighting is going in and out, I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you what we're gonna do. So today's video is gonna kind of be just like a house setup. An official like, let's get it situated for the holidays. You got me? All right, so let's get started. <laughs> All right guys, so this is the first room that I wanna tackle. This is my dining room. I love that lampshade, I really do. Um, and I love the floors in this house. But anyway, this is the dining room area guys. So we're gonna definitely organize this. I wanna get a hutch to go on this wall um, and I have about two weeks to pretty much figure out which hutch I want to put there and get it set up. Um, and then this back wall here, I might do a video on it, um, but I wanna turn my dining room into a learning area. Um, I'm not gonna speak my political views, but <laughs> I, I do wanna be very involved in my son's learning. So I ordered like a bunch of billboards and alphabets and stuff. So he's three. Um, he's really, really smart. But I'm just going to make a whole learning area over here. Um, and then this is our dining table. And underneath it, I have that leaf, which I am going to put together today. Because, again, Friendsgiving and Thanksgiving is in two weeks. So I might as well just get it set up now so the table pulls out. And it actually sits about 12 and I'll get the extra seating that we have to go on either side. And then there's benches on both sides as well. So we're just gonna organize this whole room. Um, and then I also wanna tackle this kitchen of mine. So here's our fridge and I'm not gonna lie, let's go inside. We're gonna have an honest moment not organized at all so <laughs> and i think someone left just a plate of food anyway we're just gonna clean that out and get ready for the holidays i just want to give like my whole kitchen a clean and scrub down today and a restock on like our cereal containers that are empty um Oh, guys, this is my fermented garlic and my fire cider. So if you want to see a video on that, I can link that in the description. But we're just going to organize everything in here and in that pantry closet. So let's get started. Okay guys, so this is a tablecloth I got. I'm ashamed to tell you how long I've had it and how long I've wanted to use it on this table. This table was actually in storage for like years, okay? And I loved it and I was never getting rid of it because I knew one day I was gonna have a house 
with a dining room. That's what I've always wanted, a separate dining room. So anyway, they bought this tablecloth, okay? And I'm in love with this one, it's actual fabric. Just leave a comment down below and tell me which one I'm putting on the table for Friendsgiving versus Thanksgiving, okay? Gotcha. Now, la, every bag is just more baking stuff. Wow. Should I take a leaf away? I'm gonna see what Bay thinks about it when he gets home. Um, you hear that echo, echo, Anyway, <laughs> the space is cleared out. I'm gonna get my little robo vacuum in here to just get up all the little debris and let's move on to the kitchen. So guys, over here has been my food preservation area. Um, so I have like my Ziploc bags, freezer bags. I have a vacuum sealer down there. I have huge rolls of foil to ram wrap. Um, and I don't, it's been like, you know, I've been doing a lot of food preservation. But what I think I'm going to do, because eventually I'm going to redo my pantry closet over here and I'm going to have a cabinet down there specifically for food preservation and canning stuff. So I'm going to switch it out now and just um, move it to one of those empty shelves on the bottom over there. And I'm going to make this my baking, I guess, station, grab and go. I do want to get back into making holiday treats and holiday seasons coming, so I'm so excited. So I'm going to see what I do put over here and then whatever I don't keep because I'm not keeping all of those pans, I might just end up selling or donating. All right. Um, so let's organize. <laughs> saver I got y'all I haven't used it yet this is the new vacuum sealer I got um I haven't even taken it out the box but I got it from this guy who he pretty much sells stuff out the back of his trunk at Walmart um but he buys like bulk Amazon return shipping containers and stuff and then he sells them for like really cheap so it says 30 on it with like a minus thing but he actually gave it to us for like 25 dollars um and it comes with the bags and stuff already in it um because he did open it and show it to me so i just wanted to show it to you hopefully we get to use this soon together 
Okay, so it's a little dark, but this is what it's looking like. So I have my piping tips, piping bags, icing combs in this plastic container, some parchment cake rounds, and my um, you know full size pans, cutting boards here. I have two drop well you know cooling racks that are foldable, um, my bunt pan and my cake rounds. You know I don't know why I'm tongue tied right now. But my bunt can and my cake stand back there. I have serving trays. I have more decorating utensils. And then here's all the cake pans I'm keeping that are round. And my cupcakes. Can't really see it. It's a little dark. But that's where my cupcake pans are. And then I'm going to leave this as my preservation shelf for right now. And I just got to throw my vacuum seal down there. And that's it. Moving to the next stop. I just want to say if you don't have this guys, you definitely need to keep this on stock. This is elderberry tonic. Love it. So guys, eventually my plan for this little cutout in my kitchen is to turn it into a coffee bar. Like I said, I want to put a standing cabinet like a counter. Um, I kind of want to go butcher block to match the rest of the kitchen. Um, and then maybe like two or three shelves high, but they won't come out as far. Okay. And a little cooler I do want to put on the side of the cabinet. So that will be a future project that we will be doing together on the channel as well. So look out for that because I really want to get my coffee bar in soon. So pretty much all I did put over here was the cereal and stuff that I plan on keeping in the coffee bar area. Um, when it's established like I really want to get stuff where it should be For the rest of the time until I just feel like switching it up again um, And then over here again holidays are coming so Everything here right now like I have my Serving tray. I have to get the rest of them out the garage um, But these fold out to keep the food hot. I got straws um, utensils and all of that actually is from last Thanksgiving and Friendsgiving, which is great because everybody brings stuff in abundance and it just carries over to next year. Um, I got my serving trays and stuff out and then down here I just left my appliances. When we get to my pantry closet, um, over there and we remodel that, I will have an area for all my appliances to go in there. Um, but for now I want to tackle this mess over here. <laughs>
notice stuff was on top of my fridge. I got coasters and stuff up here. Wow. I'll figure it out. So I do already have some stuff in these cabinets. When we first moved in, the first like week we were here, I actually threw salt in every single shelf on all of these cabinets because we had a crazy, crazy ant infestation and I did not want them getting to any of my dry goods. Um, and I did check it every day and I noticed that they did not get up in my cabinets. They pretty much stayed on my butcher block countertops which was fine because we were able to eliminate them in about a month, a month and a half. Well, at least, you know, really kill down a number. I think I've seen maybe two in the last week or so. So at least they're not everywhere. So I'm just going to wipe out my cabinets before I put all of my stuff up there. I got this huge box guys from BJ's on discount because I know the holidays is coming so in this is like what is it six times so this is about a six pounds of elbow macaroni noodles as you can see we have a lot of pasta I was to dedicate like a whole shelf to it um, just because my son loves spaghetti and my boyfriend is obsessed with it as well so any type of noodle honestly so pasta is like something that goes very quickly in this house. I am going to take these out of this big box and just put them on this shelf. Experimenting. I do want to do like fresh pasta one day. So I might actually experiment on that. Trying to make fresh pasta and then drying it and storing it. And then maybe as well as having some just um, in our freezer, you know, just ready to go. So I think that's something I want to do in the future. And I might just, you know, drag you guys along with me. If that's okay with you. <laughs> These are my pre-made mixes, guys, if you're wondering. Um, I do have a video on where we made some of these together. And I always just try to keep them on stock because they're so easy, so convenient. And then literally for my cornbread, you're just adding like three ingredients on it. And I just write it here on the label and how long to cook it. So we'll bake it for. And this would make six um, cornbread muffins. And that's perfect for a family of three right now. So I love them and they're real convenient. <laughs> So this bottom shelf, I'm just going to make it like ready to be eating meals, I guess, for the guys when I'm not here. <laughs>
So just to show you what my cabinets are looking like up top, I just have extra stuff um, in this one right here by the window. Over here is all of the stuff that I use for baking. So I have like molasses, barley malt, which I use when I make homemade bagels. If you want to see a recipe on that, let me know in the comment section below because I can show you how I make my bagels. Um, then I also have baking powder, cornstarch. These bottles right here, I want to do um, homemade like vanilla extract, maybe orange extract, stuff like that. Um, these two jars back here are honey. Um, that's jarred up from the local farmers market and then I just have those shortening sticks that like simulate butter up top of course you saw me put these together but it's mainly dry goods pastas um, more dry goods is over here and then ready to eat meals um, peanut butter cookie butter stuff that they can spread I am going to take out some jams for their toast um, and put that on the shelf as well when we get in the pantry closet and start organizing our canned goods. And then this over here is a total hot mess, but I do have a sink full of dishes. So once I get the dishes done, I will come over here and just organize my whatever Tupperware and cups and plate cabinet I guess <laughs> but let me show you how much salt I had all of this salt like in my cabinet so I'm gonna just clear off my whole cabinet I do want to clean this out as well and wipe it down and properly set it up because the drip is not on it um and then we'll move on to the next and probably I think final project for today Thank you, because I'm tired. Yes. And it goes like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Smudge my whole apartment now, instincts of sage. Try to clean my energy up, I've been sick for days I don't mean coughing and wheezing, I mean a different way I spill this ink on the page just to release my rage And it comes in waves, I sit and pray when I hit the stage I'll be prepared to say everything I need to say to make the right impression